What is going on guys? Today we're gonna to be talking about the IT infrastructure and why it is so critical to know the IT infrastructure as a self learner and also as a beginner because everyone wants to break into the IT field and get an entry level position. The reason why this is so critical, as you can see, it breaks down the IT industry into every single career department. You have IT management and strategy, services and infrastructure, you have information security, network technology, DevOps and cloud technology, storage, storage and data, web and mobile, uh, development and you also have software development. So as you can see, um, this is broken down into different segments. Um, it also tells you how long it takes to achieve each each milestone. You know, it looks like the furthest that we have on each spectrum is being a CISO, a CIO, a CTO, a senior DevOps consultant, um, senior data scientist or a business intelligence director, SharePoint architect or a systems architect. So pretty much these are all roles that take at least bare minimum 20 to 25 years to obtain. So this is the, the positions that everyone advertises, you know, to make you six figures, where we'll get you, we'll get you six figures in six months. These are the roles that people are talking about and it's not realistic. And to be honest with you, they're extremely delusional. And not only does it take a lot of experience, it takes a lot of self-learning. All of these positions guaranteed require a degree lots of certifications, really strong references. And, you know, it takes a little bit more than, uh, you know, a few certifications and a couple, you know, a couple, a couple job interviews, to be honest with you. Um, those positions, sometimes there are five rounds of job interviews, five rounds. Um, but yeah, I like this because it's laid out and it really, really shows you what it takes to get there. This is why I'm so passionate about this picture, um, especially in the beginning, because that's where, that's the hardest part. No one knows where to start, myself included. Um, I didn't have a job. I didn't have a, a job history or a, uh, I didn't have a background in IT. Um, I didn't go to school for IT. I was trying to figure out where to start. Luckily, I ended up doing tech support for an internet provider and I kind of got my feet wet and I could kind of stumble my way through it. But um, guys, as you can see, see the the in, the easiest way to get in into this is through help desk um the reason why help desk is the easiest is pretty much you're acting as like almost like customer service um to the staff within the company when they have issues when an issue arises someone has to distribute the tasks or the issues to the correct department and you know help desk kind of takes care of all of the low level issues you know um my keyboard isn't working my mouse isn't working um my email isn't working, you know, real basic issues um, that could be easily solved by, you know, low level technicians. And yeah, it's kind of like grunt work, but if that's what it takes for you to learn, get experience and to possibly even get your school paid for, certifications paid for, um, a lot of times they'll train you, um, or if, especially if you're already um, learning independently and you show initiative and progress in your learning, they will give you a shot. Um, every help desk position that I've had, they have told me, hey man, you wanna be a system admin? Get a certification. Let me, you know, show me what you can do in a in a in, inside a virtual environment, um, inside a inside a inside a network, uh, you know, inside a sandbox. Let me show me. Let me see what you can do. You know, um, all of my all of my hiring managers and directors are from the show me state. You know, you show them, they'll let you do it. Um, and that's that's where you know more responsibility comes in. You getting a better title, you getting a pay raise, you know, and all the perks and benefits that come with it. And this is so important, guys, because this is a roadmap. I know it says IT career 2018. This is still valid to this day. Um, I did do a whole bunch of research and it honestly hasn't changed at all. Um, so why, what you can do with this specifically is, you know, since you know the positions, you can now look up on LinkedIn, on Indeed, on ZipRecruiter. You can look on these job boards and look for the positions that are entry level. Then you can look at the skills that, that are required to fill these positions. A lot of these positions, you know, network intern, security trainee, help desk intern, junior database admin. Some of these, you know, you, you might have to get a certification. Some of these, you might not have to have a certification. You may, you know, you may know really know your stuff and you may be able to, you know, display that. Like I said, in a live, in a virtual environment, um, you may be able to display and demonstrate your knowledgeability, um, you know, to, to manage data or to, you know, uh, possibly to recover files, to manage, you know, someone's cloud, ser a company's cloud services. These are all things that you can um, display inside an interview or over the phone. And recruiters will give you a shot. You would be shocked at, um, at, at what recru who recruiters will call. I've gotten calls for positions I have no business um, interviewing for, let alone, um, you know, applying to. 
<laughs> you know, because everybody, everybody does it, and you you would really be shocked. Um, you know, who they'll pick up the phone and call, and that's that's an opportunity. I I just wasn't ready, and you know, I'm not gonna lie. There've been times where I'm like, you know, I I, I never um, if I know I can't pull off a job interview, I don't follow through with it because I don't want to embarrass myself, and I also don't want to um, have a bad relationship with the recruiter or with the manager of that company. But I just wanted to share this, guys, because this this could be really beneficial. Um, I'm going back into the IT industry, so I guess I'm going to be dropping a lot of IT content, right? Because it's something that I'm going through. I like to cover it. Um, someone else might be in my same exact shoes or may want to do this. So if I could help them out, that would be awesome. That would make me feel good. Um, and, you know, who knows? My, someone may think that my ideas or my methods or strategies are terrible, and they might post a better um, strategy or method. And, you know, if you think that my advice is garbage or if you think this resource is garbage, don't just say it's garbage. Give me something better so I can share it and put it up on my platform to help someone. To help me, you know, because that's what it's all about. Um, me and, you know, I try to, to bring out and, and to distribute accurate information that could, act, that could be actually applicable in today's industry because there are a lot of people um, just sharing misinformation um, and just trying to make a quick buck. So um, I just try to do my part. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Hopefully this was helpful. You guys take it easy. I'm out. Peace.